There's a cow right there, but you can't see it. <laughs> so the storm started about 8 o'clock this morning and it's about 2 o'clock now. So you can see how much snow it's laying down. This is our porch. Um, it's pretty intense and the wind is blowing like crazy. There's like no visibility. So today is crazy. We are experiencing probably one of the worst blizzards I have ever seen in, I don't know, 15 years of living in Wyoming. And I've seen some bad ones. And this one is really uh, taking the cake. So I'm gonna go out to the barn and check the animals. It's bad out there. I'm gonna try to take the camera with me. We'll see how it goes. But I wanted you guys to see what this is like because I'm guessing that most of you have never experienced anything like this. And it's just special. I don't know how else to explain it. It's really crazy and pretty intense right now. So we'll see how this goes. Here we go. This is literally the worst I think I've ever seen it. My lens is all snowy, so sorry if it's blurry. Um, let me go show you where I just came from at the house. You can see, you can barely see the house from the barn. The visibility is just horrendous. So most of our animals will be fine. Um, they have a barn to stand in and the chickens are safe in the chicken coop. So we don't really have too much to worry about. Um, it's not horribly cold right now. It's mostly just wet and poor visibility and a lot of snow on the ground. So the animals should be okay with that. Our biggest concern at this point is that we're calving our heifers and heifers are first time mama cows. And we have um, a bunch of them that we're, we're calving for the first time this year. So making sure that they don't have complications making sure we can find the babies and then making sure that the babies have a chance to get dried off after they're born is kind of a big deal right now. So Christian is down at our neighbors where we're leasing our ground and he's staying in our horse trailer that has like a little camper in it. So he's not like sleeping in the horse trailer, um, but he's down there and they're up all night long checking the heifers. I'm going to open up the gate so these cows can get it inside the barn. There's a cow right there, but you can't see it. <laughs> this is just insane. They'll come into the barn if they want. They have a windbreak, which is good. Um, since the snow is coming in so fast, I'm gonna let them into this barn. But right now, like they're eating. They're okay, they have winter hair, but I want them to have this option if they need it. And this is just our small group. We only have like five or six cows here at our house. Technically, cows don't have to have indoor shelter. Plenty of them survive just fine out on the, the range, but um, with our milk cows, I kind of spoil them a little bit. Back inside and now we're just kind of waiting it out. I'm really hoping the power doesn't go off. It was flickering on and off all morning. Um, so we're kind of braced for that. The good news is we have wood heat and we also have a gas stove. So if I need to light the burner with a match, we can at least cook um, on the stove top and we'll keep the house warm and the pipes won't freeze. But yeah, it could get exciting. This is supposed to last for about another 24 hours. at night it is still going crazy out there Christian's staying the night in the horse trailer to watch our cows um, look at it outside that's a rocking chair like a full-size adult rocking chair you can't see because it's dark but I mean this is literally looking out my door I can't even really see out the windows they're completely 
covered with snow. I'm gonna stoke the fire and go to bed and we'll see what it looks like in the morning. It should be interesting. <laughs> so we made it through the night and the power's still on, which I'm really, really thankful for. And I think we're done with the worst of the storm. Um, so I'm gonna go out and do chores and see what everything looks like outside. Um, just from looking out the window, it's kind of shocking. Turbo, do you need to go potty? Oh, good luck, Turbo. Go ahead. Jump, Turbo. Oh, Turbo says no. <laughs> so that's the rocking chair you saw last night. It's completely buried. I mean, this is almost as tall as me, and I'm almost six feet tall. And that mound right there is my garden. Like, I'll show you that up close. I that's at least waist high. It's hard to tell from here, but it's pretty tall, and this one's even taller. It's up to our deck, which is elevated. Not sinking too much. It's good. These are actually stairs, even though you can't tell that right now. Not to fall. That is the garden, the raised bed garden. The drift is way over the fence. Holy moly. Apparently, you guys all slept outside of the barn. I'm not really sure why, but they're in the barn now, so that's lovely, but they're all fine. So even though they look sad because they have um, snow all over them, the fact that the snow is not melting is testament to how good their insulation is. So they have pretty thick fur. They're designed to be out in the elements. So they'll they'll be fine. Um, they've had shelter and windbreak and oh, and the big thing with animals like this is if they have lots of hay and roughage, that process of digestion helps to keep them warm. So they'll be good. I think it's the worst is over, guys. My barn, uh, it may never be the same, but that's okay. Is starving. We have a ridiculous number of cats. We had that much blow in under the teeny little crack under that door. That's how hard the wind was blowing last night. Hello, chickens. Oh, there's snow on the walls that came in. I mean, again, these are tiny cracks and that just <laughs> still plastered it full. You guys are all good. I, I don't have the heat lamp on just because it isn't that cold. I mean, it was in the 20s yesterday, but it's not like way below zero and whenever I do turn on the heat lamps they run and hide from it they don't like the extra heat so uh, they've been really fine without it so I think we made it through the worst of it the wind is not near as bad as yesterday it's still blowing but it's just not moving the snow so I imagine in the next couple days probably tomorrow it'll start warming up that's usually the trend here super cold blizzard super warm a couple days after so now it's just a matter of digging out of all these drifts and we're gonna have a lot of mud and muck as everything melts down. So I'm just thankful the power is still on and we survived the great blizzard of 2019.